Good morning, everyone. We are beginning a new chapter today in the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch called Din Birkas Hayayin U Birkas Hatoiv Hametiv. These are the halachas of the blessings for wine and the blessing of Hatoiv Hametiv, which we will see later on what exactly that means. Alayayin Mevarchin Boyre Priyagafen. Upon wine, before a person drinks from it, he has to make a bracha of. Baruch Ata Hashem Elokeinu Melech HaElam Boirei Peri HaGafen Blessed are you who creates the fruit of the vine. Wine is a drink that is different from any other beverage that we have. It's elevated through the process of squeezing out the juice and fermenting it and turning it into wine. Even grape juice would have the same bracha as well. And therefore we make HaGafen on that wine, or hagefen, depending if a person is Ashkenazi or Sephardi. Uliyacharav, and after a person drinks the wine, then they make the special benediction of ala gefen, the apri gefen, which is also something special only for wine. Vein chiluk b'yayin, there's no difference of what type of wine we're discussing over here. Even if it's still bubbling, which means it just began the fermentation process, it's still fresh and new, but since then it's wine already, so then it has the status of wine, you have to make hagafen. Even if the wine wasn't pressed, rather the grape was so exploding so much with the juice inside of it, it flowed out by itself. Even if it's yain that was cooked, Wine that was cooked, a kunditin, and what is kunditin? It's heinish and nosno the seich and the vashu besamim. If you have wine and you add honey or spices to it, even though it obviously changes the flavor and everything, however, since it still has the elements of wine to it, therefore you're still going to make a hagafen. Even if the wine itself smells like vinegar. But as long as it still tastes like wine, it's still considered wine regarding the bracha, and therefore you'll make hagafen. Aval, however, in this chametz, if the wine not only smells like vinegar, but it also became sour like vinegar, and people would not want to drink it because of the sourness that is there, Yesh Safik Bibi Now there's a question that arises what bracha should you make on this? It's wine, except it went bad, it went sour. And many people wouldn't want to drink it anymore as wine because it's so sour. So did it lose the status of wine? So af even though really you can make the bracha of shahakol now before you drink it, because perhaps we'll say that it went down from its status. There's still going to be a doubt as to which bracha I should make afterwards. Would I make the bracha ala gefen or would I make brain of for just a regular shahakal? I don't know. And therefore, says the kitzu lechein, in order to remove yourself from any doubt, don't drink from the wine unless you make a bracha first on wine which is good according to all opinions. And therefore that means if you have this wine that was this chametz that became vinegary, and therefore you're now in doubt what bracha to make, take a glass of regular wine, make a bracha on that, and then you'll be allowed to drink the other wine that's chab, that's became vinegary as well. Okay, those are the halachas today. And Be'ez Hashem, you'll have a wonderful Shabbos making your bracha on Kiddush, Friday night, Shabbos day, then once again on Moitzai Shabbos on Saturday night with Havdala, you'll make the wonderful bracha that Chazal have given us, ala yayin, boch ato Hashem alokeinu melech elom, boi rei priya gofen, if you're Ashkenazi, and boi rei priya gefen, if you are Sephardi. Have a wonderful Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom to everyone. All the best.